Yep. Okay. This was their go-to spot. Ancient Prophecy. Since dark aeons before the age of man, Kitaigenar lies deep beneath the ground. In that eldritch prison rests the dreamer's hidden daughter, bound to never leave. But there are those who would free the daughter if the dreamer's seed would only pass to her. Each turn of the cycle, those carrying the seed are drawn to Kitaigenar, driven by hideous visions. The seal of Kitaigenar will open the way. Many will try and perish. When the stars are right and the dreamer stirs in his house, one will succeed. The daughter shall be freed, and from her swollen womb the dreamer shall spawn once more. Oh, there it is. Fucking timing, huh? They all got instantly killed by monsters the, mo the exact moment I touched it. Huh. There's the same gouged out reference figure with the heart carved out. So I finally get the prophecy. The, the, this is the information that is the basis of what I would have potentially killed Doe for. Here's the one will succeed. All it says the many will try and perish, and then one will succeed. There's there's no reason to kill her, as far as I can tell. If we did all try, then just whoever was not the right person would die on their own. I'm pretty sure we don't want to wake the daughter. So we're given the seed and we're supposed to deliver it to the daughter and then she would wake, which is bad. So yeah, you probably want to side with the idea of removing it from yourself. The seal of Katagonar. A large round seal decorated with otherworldly designs. This is what they found in the first place during the expedition we investigated at the beginning of the game. Would probably recommend not, uh, co going through with that. Probably a bad call. Did I just add a weird mark? Yeah. I'm guessing upstairs is not good news right now. You are here, Mr. Reed. Just when I was starting to think I'd come on too strongly. You have an odd way of making advances. You're hardly the charmer yourself. I was hoping we could talk. It's the least you could do after bringing those gentlemen along. Those gentlemen were here when I arrived. Tell me. What were they after? They have been a nuisance, hounding me for some time. I don't know their leader, but whoever they are, they're determined. And so you slaughtered them. They wanted me dead. I retaliated. If I looked, Mr. Reed, would I not find your hands soiled the same way? You saved my life at the Temple of Dagon. Why? Oh, could I not? I suspected that you too were chosen. As it turns out, I was right. We walked the same path, you and I. I extended only the courtesy of a fellow traveler. Nothing more, nothing less. That's reassuring. So you're here on some kind of what? Pilgrimage? This is where my family once gathered, before descending into the depths, never to see the sun again. They left me here. Punishment for being a disappointment, lacking the curse they wanted to exploit. 
as if that were all I was. I was told the Chosen all go insane. Is it true? All of them. No ordinary human can bear the curse, but I... I was destined to carry this burden, trained for it. It is mine alone, yet still I am denied it. I can't let you have the seal. No, Charles. Let's be civilized. By now you know enough to understand what this entails. I'll make you an offer. I have been groomed for this. I have waited my entire life for this. I am chosen. I am chosen. Let me free you from the burden. Kill me, you mean? Yeah, I found your cozy little cemetery in the manor's cellar. All those satisfied customers. Yes, yes. There were some early complications with the ritual, but now Kutikanar itself will guide my hand. You better start making sense, Blackwood. I can extract the dreamer's seed from you. I will bear this burden and carry it into the Stygian depths below the city. And you shall be free. Free to help me in this quest on an equal footing, or to flee the city with your sanity. It can't be that easy. None of it was easy. I have given everything I have, everything to be here. I know this is my fate. Our fate. You can be saved, Mr. Reed. Let me help. I beg you. This is not where your journey ends. I want a moment to think about the options. Destiny waits for no man, Charles. Decide now whether this ends in salvation or blood. Things have gotten muddy. Because on one hand, yay, lift the curse for me. Wouldn't that be nice? It's probably, it might not be doomed to fail. That's kind of not the core question right now anymore, the idea that it's doomed to fail. At the very least, it, I'm pretty sure he wants it to succeed and not fail. I'm pretty sure. It's more has to do with the fact that uh, he wants to wake the dreamer. He wants the Lovecraftian Cthulhu Eldritch thing ritual to happen and an elder god to wake upon the planet, that kind of shit. Uh, which is bad. If we gave him the seed of the dreamer and then shot him in the face, uh, that's a nice fix where we, we, we get to maintain our sanity and stop it from happening. I, he definitely frames my two solutions as not being that. I can either help him or I can flee the city. But I would assume I can have more choices than that because, you know, he's arguably the antagonist and him telling me what I'm allowed to do would be kind of silly. But I don't necessarily know what the choices going forward are. I definitely don't want him to have it. But if he can take it out of me and then I can kill him, that would be a good idea. I can't count on just getting him. Let's think about two primary character traits we ca two of us have. So, primary thing that detectives really good at is losing consciousness for periods of time as the plot demands. Uh, what is the guy we're talking about really good at doing? Summoning demons and escaping. So I can't really bet on being able to take him out. Not to mention the fact that any kind of interaction might just be in a cutscene anyway, where we don't get the chance to choose that kind of stuff. So. Uh, Fuck him. I can't trust him for a second. He wants the bad thing. I've seen what happened to your other guinea pigs, and I'm not eager to join them. I'm leaving. I can't let you do that, Charles. You had a choice, and you chose wrong. Death awaits any man who will stand between me and my destiny. You're dead. But <laughs> uh, 
this game is absurd. <laughs> All that built up and as many, many as the incidents of how fuck, how much of a fucking pro he is and just boom, headshot and then leave. The door wasn't even, like, magically sealed where I had to fight all of the monsters to get out or anything. It shot him in the head and ran away and it was over instantly and the monsters didn't chase me because I went outside. <laughs> oh, that's the funniest thing that's happened since that time where they were like, Yo, can you check out my boat? See what happened to it, and I hopped the fence and grabbed the note about what happened to the boat, read the story, then 500 monsters came out, and I'm like, oh god! And then I jumped back over the fence, and then it was like nothing had ever happened. This... <laughs> uh, the open world is the death of this game. It shouldn't exist. It adds like nothing to the game and actively compromises the stakes of half the scenarios we're encountering. Like, at least when I'm in a weird underwater cavern for one twentieth of the game, uh, they're in a controlled environment where they can kind of make me fight something. Although, I guess not, because they didn't make me fight that one sphincter thing. I just left. I don't know. This game's a mess. I don't know what to make of this. It, it doesn't accomplish the feelings it's trying to evoke. Me like, mechanically, it doesn't work, fit together the way to... Ugh. Yeah. That was. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to watch that again later. I killed Blackwood. Ever know Blackwood wouldn't give up the seal of Katagonar, so I had to put him down. Time will tell whether he was a visionary or a common madman. Regardless, Johannes Vanderberg told me to speak with him at his theater after I got the seal. Hopefully, he knows what we should do now. Right, we're just now going back to, like, the guy I came here to meet in the very, very beginning of the story. The theater. In Western Advent. I believe I just found that, conveniently. Yep, there it is, the Crown Theater. We need to go back to the theater. I just discovered that a moment ago, so that's, that's timing. That's some timing for you. Don't even have to put a ma uh, marker down to track it down. <clears throat> Does not appear to be a fast travel spot right next to it, though, making it kind of the exception. Unless I just didn't find it. I didn't. I wasn't necessarily looking, looking for it. <clears throat> Although at that range, I probably would have oh, picked it up on accident. At that point. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. This is a really funny because like this entire chap, this entire like two story missions, I think, like of chapters of whatever you want to call it, a pretty big chunk of the campaign was building up Blackwood, and I just shot him in the face and left, and it was over instantly. I don't know what's up with the quest log being like time will tell if he was some kind of visionary or not. And I'm like, are we hyping him up? He wants to unleash the old ones upon the world. Fuck him. <laughs> that is the wrong takeaway to be like, time will tell if he was truly like some kind of genius or whatevs. I guess visionary doesn't have to be a entirely positive term, but it tends to be, generally speaking. I would generally take visionary to be a compliment uh, in most contexts. And I wouldn't really want to call, I mean, I guess he had a vision and maybe that's the only root of the word. There, are f I don't see a phone booth icon. Nah, I don't. I don't think there's one down here. Alrighty. <gasps> Where the? What the? You're just in public. Nope, there he goes. Uh. Is there an opening over here? Yes, there is. Okay. He, he turned around instantly. That was weird. Oh, 
Oh, sh shit. I forgot they explode. Or more specifically, that this explosion is damaging. Oh. My health is getting long enough that I can see the limitations of how much you actually get healed by that healing item. Which is not that much, actually. We're leveling up very quickly, even without this experience boost. The thing, the thing about buying an experience boost is that it's only 15%, and it costs two skill books to get that much. So, like... I'm not, I don't really want to do the breakdown of the math right now, but you'd have to get a lot of skills that way to even break even on how much you spent to get the 15% boost. Generally speaking, I would want a higher percentage boost than that, but it doesn't really matter because the skill tree barely matters. Yeah, I'm not going to upgrade my melee attacks. And let's just get out on increasing my inventory size, and then when that's maxed out, we'll... Max up all of the combat trees, I guess, and then we're basically done leveling. <clears throat> That's one way to make sure I can find that doorway is to have that thing come out. Seeing a dead policeman must be bad luck. Really bad. I don't... Th I don't know about bad luck. If you had, like, a bad luck detector, it'd be about as useful as having an HR, uh, an HR geeker. It'd be, it'd be as about as useful as having a Geiger counter in, uh, Chernobyl. At some point, measuring how fucked you are is kind of pointless. Uh, this mechanic is annoying. He has some kind of hyper-specific hitbox that's super narrow for some reason. It just makes me never want to try to melee anyone in combat if it's that if it's that hard to just melee a lock that's right in front of you. He looks dead. This doesn't bode well for us. Whoa. Wait. Is your texture not loading? Is that why you're white? I think it's texture didn't load. Huh. Oh, it's a crime scene. That's why the cops were here. Well, shit. So I guess they investigated, they, they set up the crime scene, did a little bit of documentation, photographed the evidence, then got killed by monsters outside. A lot of activities probably get interrupted by being killed by monsters outside. This town's a nightmare. It appears someone tried to help him, but all in vain. Three shots to the gut, one through the heart. Quick death. 38 revolver shell casing. That's the same I'm using. Cool, now we're a suspect. Did we do this? The blood stains are still wet. This phone was used recently. I mean, I keep forgetting to go and review the footage, but like, didn't we like touch the glyph and then wake up in a hospital? With like no continuity of what happened in between? I, no, we got picked up at the... We got picked up at the shoreline, though, so whatever happened, we still woke up at the shore. I was thinking, like, what if during our our lost time, we came here and killed him, and then have been chasing ourselves this whole time, but we got picked up on the shore. We probably didn't do anything in town in between those times. Also, I can see shit like this magically, so I guess I shouldn't be hypothesizing that much. Repeat the verse after me. Danaya Ilya Ogn Ogn Glui has Thor for Thara Neg Ungi Bunma. Okay. I just watched and read Good Home Good Omens, so I know who Hastur is, and I'm pretty sure it's not good that you're trying to summon him, as far as I can tell. So that's not a good sign. Wear this. K 
kill Vanderberg, and your sweet new wife won't get hurt. All right. Well, <laughs> not really much of a detective investigation game if I just have a power that tells me the entire, like, oh, that's the murderer and their motivation and who told them to do it and everything. And we have the murder weapon. It's all... All right. <laughs> Step right in, my friend. Let me welcome you in this humble abode of mine. Can't you see we are having a seance? What are you? Ah! No gunshot in the audio. Oh, there it is. Was the first ah supposed to sync up with the gunshots? Because the gunshots always seem to not be in sync with everything else. I can see the curvature of his head through the hat. Like his hat is clipping through. Oh yeah, you can see there too. His hat's clipping through his head. They figured you wouldn't look at it very carefully because it's a silhouette, I guess. Police? Mr. Vanderberg has been shot! Please send help! Okay, let's see what actually happened here. Don't patronize me. We literally already, like, pre-solved the fucking mystery. This, this vision doesn't add anything to the experience. Mr. Vanderberg has been shot! Please send help! Johannes Vanderberg was with a guest when the killer arrived and shot him. His visitor survived and used the phone to call the police. The hat already solved the entire murder. But being like, let's see if we can figure out what happened here is like, come on, man. Range Aeon's Philosophical Society, meeting upstairs. As our material existence is not life, so our material destruction is not death. Did I just sink into the floor? I did. My feet are through the floor. I thought I saw him go downward. That was weird. Now his feet are above ground? Are they? No, they're not. My feet are going through the ground here. Oh, weird. Monaid possesses the ultimate power of transforming the world. Thus, being added to an odd number, it turns into an even. And added to an even makes it odd. For this world is nothing more than just a play of lights and shadows, dwarfed to insignificance in the endless corridor of angles yielded by mirrors that reflect each other. Look how short I am because I'm sinking into the ground! I feel so tiny in this room. Look how tall the table is. Pierre de Lalande. Repercussions and reflections. I think I'm like knee deep into the ground right now. It's tripping me out. Le philosophe in canu. Selection of maxims and aphorisms. Your humble servant, Theurgy of Math. All evidence collected. I like seeing the mechanics of the play area. Like that door that could be lowered down and so on. And that there's that side area that was full of stashed items. If I was gonna have like some kind of seance experience though or whatever, I would definitely feel very patronized to and lied to like it's a manipulation and everything. If said thing was gonna happen at a fucking like theater performance stage. It really highlights the yeah, there, see that's my that's my feet because I'm standing on the ground now. It really makes the whole thing feel like extra artificial and all that. I don't know if I could bring myself to believe much anyway, but it doesn't help being in this context. But yeah, that guy was a nice dude. He tried to he tried to help out. He tried to help. I mean, the guy got shot in the heart, so it was pointless. But he tried to he called the police to try to tend to the body. Look how much ammo there is in that thing. Uh-oh. That's never good. Stop right there. Put your hands up and don't try anything stupid. What? Why? You're under arrest for the murder of Johannes Vanderberg. 
I didn't kill him. We have clear evidence against you and an eyewitness report. Take him in. Well. I'm still wondering if we're going to transition to me being interred in the insane asylum. I feel like these stories can't resist that temptation, but so far it hasn't happened. You look... I'm pointing a gun at your forehead, sir. You guys let me keep my guns? I wonder if they just don't have a mechanic for taking my guns away. They might just not have a mechanic for taking my guns away, because that one time when I was at the hospital, they were all like, Yo, here's where all your stuff is, which is a very common mechanic in a lot of games where it's like you get hospitalized or imprisoned and you have to go back to you have to go to a box or an NPC to get your inventory t uh, either either replenished or in some cases just turned back on they just disable your inventory but this is the second time where I seemingly wouldn't have my stuff or the narrative even points towards me not having my stuff but I'm currently in a supposed jail cell with a gun he doesn't seem prepared for me to even to even acknowledge that I have a gun that's weird Rise and shine, Detective Reed. Hope you've enjoyed your stay. Now, weren't you the man giving orders back at the Carpenter Manor? <laughs> to what do I owe the pleasure? You have an excellent memory, Reed. The name's Frank. Regardless, I'm here for you. Mr. Carpenter has put up your bail. That's generous of Mr. Carpenter, but tell me, how did he know I was here? The Carpenter family has a long and proud history of supporting the Oakmont Police Department. Let's just say they keep us in the loop. I must confess I'm, uh, pleasantly surprised. It seems helping Mr. Carpenter was a good choice after all. Well, you helped Mr. Carpenter, and now he returned the favor. The Carpenter family always pays its debts. I didn't kill anyone. Do you have any idea what's going on? Of course you didn't do it, Mr. Reed. The witness must be mistaken. No, seriously. I'm innocent. Okay, sir. Mr. Carpenter wishes to see you. I suggest you take up the matter with him yourself. Fine. Thank you. The plot thickens, the game says unironically on the screen. Wait, what? <laughs> okay. I say that as a joke. But they did, they actually said it. Oh. Uh, at this point, I'm just taking glee in this game, just having some fun with it. You better start brown nosing Carpenter. If it were up to me, we'd have already thrown away the key. Sir. I didn't do a thing. Oh, really, newcomer? Uh, shall I read your record aloud? Go ahead. I'm a good citizen. <laughs> a good citizen with a shotgun. People like you are best kept in jail, if not the asylum. I thought this was Mirka. You're not so good with people, are you, officer? Men like you are why this city is a mess. You blow off locks and break into houses to ransack them. You stroll the streets with a loaded gun, firing at innocent passers-by. And don't you dare deny it. The work of a private eye does occasionally require some lateral thinking. But it's all in service of law and order. So you commit crimes to prevent crimes. Got it. The only mystery is why you haven't ended up here sooner. Just remember, if it weren't for your powerful friends, you'd still be rotten in Oakmont Jail. If it were up to me, I would have thrown away the entire fucking investigative progress process and all the basis of, you know, law and order and trials and so on. No big deal. Just casually Chief of Police guy's just casually saying he doesn't care about the law. That's fun. 
You want me to meet up with Mr. Carpenter? The killer was blackmailed. The murder was definitely pressured. A man was being forced. A man was being forced to assassinate Vanderberg to keep his wife safe. No alibi. I don't have any proof of my innocence. I need to find evidence that someone else is responsible. Yeah, I mean, right before that happened, I was shooting somebody else in the face. That wasn't the guy I'm accused of murdering. So, <laughs> I've probably killed like 30 people so far. Not to mention like 200 monsters or something. Where did the Vanderbergs live? Cause I actually don't remember. Carpenter Manor. That's, I meant to say Carpenter. There we go. Yeah, he lives. He lives in a rich, rich people place. Not that hard to track down. <clears throat> I wonder what the. I wonder who the witness is though, and why they placed me there. I also kind of want to zoom back to the guy with the hat clipping through his head. I don't remember the visual, but he uh, maybe he looked like me. Or no. It's it was a it was a designed planned hit. So they definitely just already had a witness ready to go after me. Which means that the guy at the séance may have been a piece of shit after all. The guy the guy doing the séance may ha have uh, been planted for that purpose and may be accusing me cuz that was he was also paid to do. You got it quickly. Don't you have work to do? No. Oh boy, you're having a strong reaction. Are we good? Did that not actually affect anything? Or am I gonna go up there and find out he's dead? Did anyone hear me screaming? Or was that in my head? Was the screaming imaginary? Charity work. Oh, we could be running a real racket. Oh, they don't like that he's in, he's in control now. Is the idea that the guilt of that guy I killed is tearing me up? Cause like, I don't know if I should be that guilty about the guy that, you know, was a mob boss out of all the people I've killed. Okay. I'd kill for a good fight. <laughs> if anything, I should feel more guilty about the very first investigation choice of the game, where I got that guy probably executed. I'm curious if the cop reacting to me was actually based on a script or something that happened in the game. Because, uh... He says that I fire on random passerbys. I wonder if some one of the some random moment of chaos where I pointed gun uh, gun while I was in public, or that one time I meleeed that guy that was beating on somebody else, might have caused some kind of tr uh, trigger that makes it so that I'm seen as being like somebody who tears up the streets, or if that's just their interpretation of me in general, no matter what. Because by default, you're fighting creatures and stuff in buildings, not firing at random passerbys in the street. So you would be able to deny that. Hello, Mr. Carpenter. Mr. Reed. Welcome. Things are busy right now, but I hope we may soon find the time to share a conversation and some wine. That's been a luxury lately. Wine or time. Regardless, I won't delay you further. How are you feeling after everything that happened with Brutus? Please. I'd rather not discuss it, but my father is upstairs, should you wish to see him. I appreciate you bailing me out of jail. I was in a difficult situation. <laughs> a trifle, Charles. Though I understand you're not off the hook yet. Milton Pierce says he saw you killing Vanderberg. I didn't kill him. I believe you. 
From what I know of your character, even if you and Johannes had a falling out... I wouldn't have done that. Exactly. Reed, I trust you. But the police don't. If you can't find the real culprit, there's little more I can do. That being said, the Carpenter family still has its connections in the police department. Just let my taskmaster know when you have an alibi. I get the feeling you knew Vanderberg. He was an old friend. A man of rare mental clarity. I met him in Europe during the Great War. He and you are among the few decent men in this city. I hope that I won't need to choose one friend over the other. You served during the Great War? Yes. One of the hapless grunts at Muse are gone. I'm afraid... I still find it hard to talk about. I understand. What do you know about Milton Pierce? He's quite a prominent voice in political circles, though he's not afraid to play ugly. I saw his interview with the Oakmont Chronicle recently. Do you know where I can find him? He's somewhere in Reed Heights, but sorry, beyond that I can't be of much help. Uh, thanks again, Mr. Carpenter. I should be off. Before you leave, here's a little problem solver for you. Should you run into any further difficulties, take care, Mr. Reed. I'll set aside some wine for when it's all over. There's the SMG. Wondering about you. Well, that'll get some shit done. Something wrong. That's going to get some shit done. And maximum ammo by default. It also requires gunpowder, so goddamn, we have a bandwidth for gunpowder. I have five guns, four of them use the same resource, one of them doesn't. Just a little odd. Oh, they also will require sh uh, shell casings. They'll require shell ga casings and gunpowder, but shotgun also requires metal scrap, and the battle rifle requires cordite. Yeah, I don't have to worry about cordite ever running out. And I guess they the game must make gunpowder and shell casings, like, exceptionally common. Just to make up for, uh... How much of a problem it would be to get them otherwise. 